India is set to expand its UAV fleet by acquiring more Israeli Heron drones after their successful use in Operation Sindor 2025. The armed forces also plan to equip these drones with long-range spike non-line-of-sight missiles, enabling precision strikes up to 25 kilometers against armored and fortified targets. Already key to ISR missions, the upgraded Herons will combine surveillance and strike roles, strengthening India's operational edge and highlighting growing defense ties with Israel. How will upgrade India's light combat helicopter Prachand, under a Rs. 62,700 core program, boosting its firepower, survivability, and avionics? A total of 156 helicopters, 90 for the Army, and 66 for the IAF, will be delivered between 2027 and 2033. Cleared by the CCS, and signed in March 2025, the upgrade includes advanced weapons, electronic warfare, and high-altitude combat readiness. The Prachand will become the backbone of India's attack helicopter fleet, ideal for Himalayan and frontline operations. Palani-based startup Vimana has launched the Nursingha NS-1200, India's first vertical takeoff and landing tailsitter UAV. Inspired by Lord Vishnu's Narasimha avatar, it combines AI autonomy, hybrid propulsion, and modular payloads for roles in defense, disaster relief, logistics, and surveillance. Capable of 90-minute flights, 120 km per hour speeds, and 50-plus km range, it eliminates runway needs and adapts to multiple missions. With eco-friendly design and upgrade potential, nursing how marks a big leap in India's drone self-reliance. Adisa-based Koratia Technologies has signed a Rs. 66 core contract with the Indian Navy to supply indigenously developed underwater remotely operated vehicles, UROVs. Their flagship product Jalasima will aid in ship hull cleaning, salvage and underwater inspections. Incubated at NIT Rawarkela and backed by IDX, the startup delivers cost-efficient, advanced underwater robotics, reducing foreign dependence. With fresh funding of Rs. 17.4 crore, Koratia plans to expand R&D, exports and applications across defense, infrastructure, and marine industries, boosting India's blue economy. During the four-day 2025 India-Pakistan conflict, India showcased its new space situational awareness capabilities to counter Chinese satellite support for Pakistan. Using ISRO's Netra system, AI-driven orbital tracking, and signals intelligence, India predicted satellite passes, jammed signals, and moved S-400 air defense units, with decoys, making Chinese intelligence useless. The S-400s intercepted missiles with near-perfect success, and even downed a Pakistani wax. Operation Sindor highlighted India's space warfare readiness, and plans for a stronger satellite network by 2029. The Indian Air Force is considering Israel's Air Lora tactical ballistic missile for its Su-30 MKI jets to enhance long-range precision strikes. Lighter and cheaper than Brahmos A, Air Lora offers 430 km range, supersonic speed and pinpoint accuracy with dual-load capability per aircraft. Its cost-effectiveness and versatility could greatly expand IF strike options against China and Pakistan. With Bard Electronics Limited and Israel Aerospace Industries collaboration for local production, Air Laura may become a game-changer, maximizing Su-30 MKI's combat potential amid squadron shortages. India and Russia share a decades-long defense partnership, rooted in trust and mutual respect. From Cold War arms supplies to today's $10 billion annual defense trade, Russia has provided India with cutting-edge technologies including nuclear submarines, BrahMos missiles, S-400 systems, and co-produced Su-30 MKI fighters and T-90 tanks. Unique deals like leasing Akula-class submarines highlight unmatched trust. Beyond weapons, 
Russia supports India's nuclear and space programs, while diplomacy remains warm and respectful, cementing this special and privileged strategic partnership. India's Kaveri engine program has achieved a key breakthrough with plans to flight test the Kaveri derivative engine on a light combat aircraft prototype. The test jet is being modified to include a hollow reheat module, acting as a placeholder, instead of a working afterburner, to assess integration, safety, and flight performance. While not aimed at combat readiness, the trials will provide crucial data on engine aircraft compatibility. Success could lead to an afterburning version for fighters and applications in unmanned systems, strengthening India's push for self-reliance in aero engine technology. The Indian Air Force plans a fleet of 220 Tejas jets by 2031, including 47 twin-seater trainers, far more than usual. Unlike traditional trainers, these MK-1A variants are combat-ready, equipped with advanced radars and weapons. Their higher numbers suggest a dual role. Pilot training and leading unmanned systems, under manned unmanned teaming. Trainers could act as motherships for house cats warrior drones and hunter cruise missiles, boosting strike power and survivability. With 11 squadrons planned, Tejas will replace aging fighters, strengthen the training pipeline, and expand futuristic warfare capabilities against China and Pakistan. Russia is preparing to host Indian test pilots for trials of its Su-57E stealth fighter, aiming to secure a major defense deal. The jet, showcased at Aero India 2025, offers advanced stealth, supercruise, and sensor fusion capabilities, with proposals including 20 to 30 off-the-shelf units and local production of up to 70 more at Hal Nashik. Moscow is offering full technology transfer and joint production to sweeten the deal reviving memories of the scrapped FGFA project. With IF squadron strength falling to 31 and AMCA years away, the Su-57E could serve as a crucial stopgap, despite engine and sanction concerns. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.